Hello everyone, today is a little bit different. I'm going to be organizing my perfume shelf with you and taking you through my process of taking out perfumes and adding new scents into my rotation. My perfume shelf is right behind me and this is just like a way for me to have scents right in front of me that I can just grab and reach for. I typically like to include some scents that I want to wear more of, some scents that I already love because the convenience of just having them out there for me to grab and wear whenever I want is pretty nice and I like to enjoy my bottles as well. If this is your first time watching, hello, my name is Anya. I love fragrances and I talk about them here several times a week. I do regular content on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays along with a ton of bonus videos in between. So if you're interested, do consider subscribing. So with that out of the way, let's get into this video. So this is what the shelf looks like. As you can see, there is quite a collection of items here. Um, I like to keep some books up here just for decor. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a big fan of collecting books, so I have some old ones here and I just keep it because it adds some color to the space. This is a sample set that I received or that I bought um, in Paris. This is from the uh, brand Aurizia Le Grand and I just love the way this looks, so I have it here. So first I'm going to take you through the scents that I already have here that I've been wearing and then we're going to start switching things up a bit. If you notice, a lot of these fragrances uh, their bottles are opaque, uh, so they're not really going to get damaged by the sunlight anyway. Um, the one that I have in this little box is Annabelle's Birthday Cake. Uh, that one is one of my favorite Marissa office fragrances. I'm going to keep it in this box because I feel like the light will affect it severely, and it's a little bit more expensive uh, if you count it by price per ml, so I want to keep it in its box. Plus, this box is really pretty, so why not? I do have some extra makeup. I have my mascara right here and I have some eyelash glue. Uh, if I'm being honest, this is again me being to totally transparent with you. I kind of keep this shelf as like my uh, kind of like beauty shelf. Sometimes I have like nail polish here that I just like was wearing this week and then I just have like some earring backs right there. I mean this is real life guys and I'm sorry if the camera is focusing. Usually I'm used to using this lens when it's like not necessarily like moving so yeah but uh to give you an idea of what i've been wearing so i've been wearing animals birthday cake i really love that scent i've also really been enjoying the house of sillage uh wabi sabi or the house of oud sorry the house of oud wabi sabi fragrance i've talked about this one a lot cherry powder has also been on my list a lot i've enjoyed this one as an everyday sweet powdery fragrance it's really really pretty i've also been enjoying navitus melon kiss this is one that's going to stay on this shelf. I know that right away because it is truly such a fun scent for the summer. It has a bit of coconut in it as well. Um, another scent that I've really been enjoying is Lemon Tart. This one is a gorgeous citrusy vanilla scent. Very, very gourmand. Beautiful. Also, Kiss Mint for Men. This is like my everyday go-to fragrance. I think it's great. It's like your perfect, slightly spicy and yet very smooth and elegant fragrance. It's great if you're a fan of vetiver. One fragrance I think I will be taking out of this rotation is La Tapa's Muna. This is a fragrance I was initially planning on putting on this shelf because I wanted to use it up a little bit more, but the more I kind of experience this fragrance, the more I realize this is probably like better suited towards like a slightly colder weather. So this is going to be a fragrance I'm going to be cycling out this, this week. Um, and to get here, I do have the Maker Paradiso. Um, I'll probably be cycling this one out as well. I have worn it a few times. I think I want to go for something more, uh, something different. And let's see what else is here. I have just some like random things. I have like a Suspiro sample in there, some eyelash glue, hair tie, earrings. I think I'm going to keep those random things in there. Why not? Um, I don't really care since it literally is just a thing I put things into. So yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. So looking at what I have here, I'm going to be taking out La Tapa's Muna. Again, this is more of like a fall scent um, and I do like it. It's a really pretty kind of like tart floral. Um, I think this would be beautiful for the fall time. It's just not a scent that I'm reaching for at the moment. So I'm going to put this away. Another scent that I'm kind of torn by is Lemon Tart. I love this perfume. Let me just smell this again. Actually, yeah, I think I'll be keeping this in the rotation since I really do like this perfume a lot and I genuinely do reach for it. Um, I have a little bit of a dent. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but this is a scent that I genuinely love. 
I think I'll also keep cherry powder in the rotation as well. You might notice pear gelato is missing. Um, I love pear gelato, but right now these are my two favorite Theodorus Calatinus scents. So these are the ones that are going to be staying here. Um, the scent that I think I'll be taking out actually is Wabi Sabi by House of Oud. And the reason being, um, I think that this actually looks really pretty in this display so i'm kind of tempted to keep it up there but i think i'll be taking it down because um this is a scent i mean i love the scent i think it's beautiful it's like slightly spicy a little bit citrusy but something happened with my atomizer i think now it's getting better but it kind of like i don't know if you can see that but like it literally just like squirts out like a stream of scent it's not spraying it's squirting and i like i can't I can't wear it so I, I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix this it literally happened very suddenly so I don't know what happened like maybe it's clogged or something but this is not a scent I've been reaching for because of that because like I, I don't want to feel like I'm being sprayed by a hose when I'm putting on a perfume it's like weird so I'm not going to be keeping this on here um, I love the scent I think it's great I've worn it a few times so it did serve its purpose so I'm just gonna be putting this away for now like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be semi-retiring uh, Paradiso for now. This is by The Maker. It's a really beautiful, uh, fruity, tropical scent for the summertime. For those of you who want something a little bit more unique and special, if you like a scent that's like a little bit uh, almost like alcohol inspired, this is one. Like It smells like a cocktail sometimes. I really do like it. Uh, but I have worn it a few times, so now I want to do something different. I will be keeping Mel and Kiss in the rotation. This is one that I've been wearing nonstop, so I definitely will keep on wearing it. So it's going to stay. Um, another one that's going to stay is Annabelle's Birthday Cake. Let me take it out of the packaging. Um, if you're unfamiliar with, with this one, it's a really beautiful take on a gourmand. It's very unique. It also has like a latex balloon note. And... It's so, so beautiful. So I think, personally, if you've seen some of my layering videos recently, you would already know this, but for those of you who have not, I love layering it with Lemon Tart by Theodore's Calatinas. Beautiful combination. This is phenomenal if you're interested in like a gourmand scent that's a little bit more unique. And I'm also curious about what it will smell like when I layer it with cherry powder. So Annabelle's Birthday Cake is staying, but I'm a little bit paranoid about this uh, going off. So I'm going to keep it in the box. Um, so I have like only recently started this whole uh, perfume shelf setup. And the way I'm kind of justifying it is if it's a scent that I know I'll use up quickly, I'm more comfortable with keeping it out. So like Lemon Tart is one of those fragrances. I'm likely going to use up the majority of this before it goes bad. So that's why I'm keeping it out. Kismet for men, like same thing. This is a super affordable fragrance, so I don't feel guilty about it going off because, I mean, it was 20 bucks for this big bottle, so like I am fine. Um, and also, I have used this up significantly, so I can definitely say that I will use up the majority of this before it goes bad. So this is like my one of my favorite everyday fragrances, so I'm going to keep it out. Melon Kiss by Navitus. I don't know if I want to keep it out for too, too long, uh, but this is like a tinted bottle, so I feel like this is like safer. Um, so yeah, that's my logic. That's a way of justifying it. Yes, you might say that's like a waste of perfume, but like at this point I have like over a hundred bottles and I need to figure out some way to use them because otherwise it's just no point. Um, and I'm also thinking like if it's in a larger bottle and it's like a niche fragrance, I'm probably going to keep it in the box. That's the way I'm justifying it at this moment. So uh, fragrances I want to add in, I would say like a decant that I've really been obsessed with is uh, this one by Profumo di Firenze. This is Latte e Mandorla. I'm going to be getting the full size bottle soon. It's a beautiful fragrance with almonds and it's like a bitter almond it's really beautiful and it has a little tonic note it's stunning one of my favorite fragrances recently a beautiful option if you're a fan of powdery perfumes this is gorgeous so this is going in the little in the little bin that i have for decamps and uh, travel sprays so that's going in that a fragrance that i'm adding in purely because i've been wearing this one a lot this week and i know i'll be con I, I know i'll continue reaching for this is L'Imperatrice by Dolce & Gabbana. 
This is a gorgeous scent. I love this perfume. It's so, so good. So I'm going to be putting it right here. And I, I literally use this like a body spray. Like I love this perfume. It's like a tart watermelon and cyclamen scent. Gorgeous. Great if you want something that's like a little bit fizzy, a little bit lighter. That, that one's amazing. Another scent that's gorgeous is Idol Nectar by Lancome. I wore this yesterday with uh, L'Imperatrice. And I got a compliment, so I'm keeping this one out. I think it's going to be a great option for the summertime. So I think it's like a really pretty kind of fragrance to have, especially since the bottle is so like cute and girly. So I'm going to keep that one out. A fragrance I'm kind of like curious about adding in is this one by Unui Namad. This was sent to me. So like I have bought the majority of the fragrances from Unui Namad that I have, but they sent me this like large bottle of Sunbleached. Sunbleached is one of my favorite summer fragrances of all time. I think it's such a gorgeous scent and here it is. So this is beautiful and I use it up, like I use it a lot. This is a kind of like a linen scent, a linen scent with sandalwood, gorgeous. Um, and it's like a soft spicy perfume too. So I'm wondering if I should just keep it out like this, but because this is a larger size, I am hesitating because I don't want this entire bottle to go bad before I have a chance to use it. And I do use it a lot, but like, I, I mean, that's like a significant amount, but it's, I don't know. This is like a very, very light bottle and I don't want it to get damaged. So I think since this whole uh, box is so pretty too, I think I'm just going to leave it out. So it's going to be like a nice decor. Um, and I think I'll leave the sleeve and I'll, I don't know. Should I put the sleeve on top of it? I don't know. Does it look better like this or does it look better with this on top? I mean, it kind of looks the same. I think I'll put the sleeve on there just because I don't want like the sleeve to be floating around here and yeah, might as well. So let's see, I have, I'm going to show you what this looks like when I'm done, by the way, because uh, I'm usually more like, I'm more in the habit of keeping the camera in one place and I don't like, this is like a new setup for me, so I'm not sure how to go about it. So hang on tight. I'm going to show you what this looks like when I'm done. Um, so I'm just like trying to arrange it. So the colors. Again, I'm such a stickler for this. I'm trying to arrange it so the colors are like contrasting. So it's not like boring. Okay. I think it's a pretty good setup. So um, I do have like, I think I'm just, I'm just gonna leave this Aspiro thing in here. I mean, I just put it in once and I mean, I don't, I mean, I have like, oh my gosh. I have to show you what my samples look like at some point because I think it will be a fun video. But at the same time, I'm kind of like apprehensive about it because my organization is not the best. I have, I think my, like this space right now is bursting with perfume. Like I have a lot in here. Um, it's a, it's a lot. I have a lot of samples. I have a lot of decants and it looks like it's, it, 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 it's, it's a lot. So like, I think someone asked me for like a perfume collection video once and I, I was like, I, I don't organize it very well. So I don't know if you want to see that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this. I think this is a pretty good setup right now. I'm going to move these earring backs out of the shot so you don't have to see them. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think this is pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's like a pretty, that's a pretty good setup for now. I think I, I like the way it looks. So let me show you what it looks like right now. All right. So this is what the finished product looks like. I think this shelf looks very, very pretty. It looks very fresh and vibrant and summery. So let's zoom in. I love, love these perfumes and I especially love having them out. I mean, it's kind of like a very small curated shelf, but again, the point of this is I want to use these scents up more. So having them in this setup, I think is very helpful. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. That's gonna be my perfume shelf for the week. I'm going to probably check back in with you next week and share what perfumes I've used the most and we're going to do another switcheroo um, and add in some more scents. I think that this is a fun way to just use up what I have and have it also look aesthetically pleasing because before this shelf just had, had books on it and like some random items and I, I want to make it pretty. It's, it's the first thing I see every day when I wake up in the morning and I want to enjoy uh, the things that are on this shelf. 
So thank you for watching until the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this new format. If you have any feedback for anything in this video, be it sound, camera angles, what have you, please let me know. I always want to get better and I always want, I always want to show you the best content that I can. So I do appreciate the feedback, but be nice. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the next video. So until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.